Okay, now that we have our Google Culture site all laid out and we know what we're doing, we know what they are used for, and we've kind of planned it all out. Now, if you need to get materials, if you don't have them laying around, these are my suggestions for gathering materials. And you can find stuff for free, definitely. I think I suggest that highly. And people are usually glad to get rid of this stuff because they're either going to burn it or throw it away or throw it in the green waste or whatever. Or it's just sitting around as an eyesore in their place. So with all these tips, you want to keep in mind that about the wood and the debris that you don't want. And you can check my previous couple, I think it's a couple videos back, about uh, the wooden debris that you want to avoid. So like garbage and, uh, you know, anything like uh, painted wood, nails, screws, wires, just anything you don't want in a, uh, anything you wouldn't, would not put into a raised garden bed or into your compost pile. So you can ask a local tree pruning company for logs, branches, mulch. Uh, some of them will be happy to, you know, bring an entire dump truck full of uh, different material for you. And of course, keep in mind the wood that you don't want to use, you know, avoid eucalyptus and redwood and uh, black walnut. And I have another video on that too in this series. Uh, you can offer to take yard waste, do yard work for neighbors. And, uh, you know, you can even get paid, you know, put an ad out and do some yard work. And you could get paid and get your uh, raised garden bed materials. So, I don't know, get some money for some seeds. And I provided some Craigslist searches to get you started. So there's a free section there. Uh, wood, old firewood, you know, the more broken down stuff is good. You know, free mulch, dirt, fill dirt. People have a lot of fill dirt when they're, you know, building out patios or doing different construction things. They have extra dirt. Um, soil, branches, leaves. Um, you know, you can pull weeds and uh, do yard work. You can volunteer for different, uh, different city buildings or uh, there's a lot of charities around. Um, you'll be shocked at all the charities that uh, or churches even that desperately need uh, yard work. So um, these are all great opportunities. You'll be doing good for them. And uh, you know, it's it's win-win situation because you can just bring back whatever they think is waste and turn it into a garden. That's, uh, you know, that's the probably the single thing I love about Google Culture Mounds is this aspect of it. And then I want you to organize everything into piles once you get to your once you get everything back and get it at your future site, um, you know, you can maybe mix the weeds and the and the soil or something like that. But, uh, you know, I want you to have it orga organized into uh, separate things. Just uh, It just makes the construction process a little easier. And that's what we'll talk about next is construction. Thanks for watching.